Um, so what, it, let's say one decides that the Brandon method is going to be in their arsenal of resolving their, their cancer. Uh, I like that you say arsenal because it's really, I have found it's a, it's a collection of, you know, having a strong healing team from many different modalities that are helping you through. I don't think it's ever just one modality that helps, especially when we're dealing with cancer. You want to get all different sides and, and parts and perspectives from the, the entire healing spectrum. So. so what so what would, since we're talking about the arsenal, what other yeah. things would you recommend so that they could respond better to I their... Mean, diet. And do you, do you usually recommend, do you have people that you recommend to I your... I do. Family? I have lots of physicians and, and practitioners that I refer to. Um, so in order to respond better to the Brennan method, they should kind of look at all those different parts of their lives. Right. And everyone's going to respond a little bit differently or depending on the practitioner, they're going to feel comfortable with. And you, I mean, when it comes down to it, it's someone you feel safe with, that you trust, that you feel totally comfortable to open up to these places. I mean, there's so much going on emotionally with a, with a diagnosis like cancer. Um, you just want to feel that you've got all your bases covered and that you're, you've got people supporting you from many different sides. You're looking at, at all the options. So how often does one need to do, how much does it cost and how often does one need to do? It really depends on the place. I mean, when you're looking at practitioner, like the brain and healing science isn't accepted by insurance at this time. So it's something that you're going to be paying out of pocket. Um, and practitioners, depending on the city and their costs, depends on how much they charge. Okay. But I would say, you know, West Coast to East Coast, it could be somewhere from $70 a session to, you know, $125 in the larger cities. And for me personally, because my practice is, is smaller, um, I can't offer sliding scale for everyone, but I do have, I do make sure that I keep a few openings for people who are in need in my community, um, who, and who, you know, if they come in and they have this vested interest to work with me, you know, we can talk about packages or, you know, if they're going through something like cancer, a long-term disease process, we can definitely work on uh, finding an option, a payment option that, that works for them. So if they, let's say, they're in, I don't know where, let's say they're in Washington, D.C., and they, they, they might be able to go to a Brennan practitioner and say, you know, I think I might need to see you once a week. What's, how, how can you make that affordable, or how can, do you think people Absol probably do? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, if that was someone coming into me, I usually have, uh, you know, four, we, four slots that are open for people who are in need, and we'll talk about, you know, their finances what kind of commitment they want to make, and, and we'll, we'll go with there, yeah. And somebody, you spoke about this earlier, but um, somebody could get this, get the Brennan Method at the same time as doing chemo or radiation or, you know, recovering from Absolutely. surgery. It's very complimentary. Um, and it's, I've just, I've seen amazing results with just the, the side effects from the chemo. So it helps helps the client recover from the side effects faster, there's less, um, they feel, they feel less side effects, and um, they seem to recover faster. And so That's been my personal And experience. less side effects, and does it seem like maybe it helps the chemo be more effective? It does. Yeah, it does. Because we work with help clearing the organs, helping the liver, and uh, you know, process things faster. So, so actually, it might it might help a, a, a Western med medicine treatment. It might make it more effective. It might personal make it more effective. I don't know if I would phrase it like mm -hmm. that so much as I would say that the support of the body and supporting the lymphatic system to help with the clearing and the liver and the endocrine system. I've seen uh, people recover faster, have less side effects. Right. In my in my practice, right. in, in my personal experience, that's been my personal experience. 
So let's go back to, to this is just the last question. Just the, the thing that you talked about, which is the three points of... Oh, the way we look at the, the body, right. the system. What we call reason, will, and emotion. Uh, three reason, will, points. and emotion. Reason, will, right. and, and emotion. Um, the emotional centers are in the front of the body. Um, we look at the balance there and how that's connected to the human physiology. So, what, um, and what part of that is? I, I just hadn't heard of that breakdown before, so I was curious to know about kind of see it as like a triangle. Uh -huh. So, if you spend more of your So you're trying to help people find a balance in, in those three areas. And so where in your body would each of these be located? Your reason, let's say, in your mind, in your head, in your the, the emotion? Reason, yeah, the reason is connected with the upper with the throat chakras and, and the head and the crown chakras and the emotions, the emotional centers in the front part of the body, which helps us in relationship. And the will centers are connected to our, our spine, which is interesting to say. We're spineless, you know, right. we don't have a lot of will or, or power. It's interesting that we actually, in our own language, we talk about these things day to day. You know, oh, I had that, I just had this gut feeling, right. you know, in my gut that this person was, you know, gonna, you know, either wasn't right or I had, I had a feeling that this was gonna happen. And so. Yeah, that's it. That's interesting. So, what do you, what would be, let's say, a symptom of someone being maybe imbalance and their reason what would be a symptom of being imbalanced well I, I actually see this a lot in new york we're kind of up in our heads and we forget about our body and that could be you know running around all day and oh my god i forgot to eat uh or just not there can be a disconnect where people actually split off and they're just they're in they're in their head and their their entire world is here and there's a neglect And so, and so that's, we've got emotion and we've got reason. Where, if you've got an imbalance in your will, what are you, are, are you? Uh, it's usually someone who likes to, to push their ideas out onto the world and it's hard for them to, to take in and be in a relationship and, and see another point of view. Um, so maybe they're a little so inflexible. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you.